Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Oster 2 pound express bake bread machine. It measures 11 and a half inches tall, 10 and a half inches wide, and about 12 inches deep. The unit weighs approximately eight pounds. The machine has a nice, neat and clean look to it. As you can see, it's big and will take up some counter space. A basic two pound white bread will take three hours and 25 minutes total in this machine. Included with this bread maker is an instruction manual that has a number of recipes from basic white bread to sourdough, rolls, bagel dough, pizza and pasta dough. You can even make jam and marmalade with this bread maker. The instructions are detailed and there are tips and hints which are helpful. There is a measuring cup included and it has markings for dry ingredients and wet ingredients. There's cup markings, ounce markings, and milliliter markings. You can use this cup to measure your ingredients or use your own cup. There is a tablespoon and teaspoon measuring scoop included. This is the kneading blade. This goes inside the bread pan. And this is the kneading blade removal tool. Open the lid. The first time it might be difficult to pull up the bread pan, usually you would just hold onto the handle and pull it straight up. If it's too hard to do it that way, just grab both sides of the pan, just move it back and forth, and slide it out. This is a non-stick bread pan and measures seven inches long, five and a quarter inches wide, and five inches deep. The blade attaches straight to the center, just like that, to put the pan back, just put it in the middle and push it down. This is the vent. You want to make sure that's not covered. The glass viewing window is really convenient. You can see what's happening inside the machine at all stages. I think it'd be a lot of fun for kids to watch while the bread is baking. This is the control panel with LCD display. When you plug in the machine, you'll hear that beep and it'll show you a three hour and 25 minute timer. There's a start stop button. That's what starts the baking process. The menu select, you press that and you can choose the type of bread with the menu setting. All the types of bread are listed here. There's a corresponding number to the type of bread. One would be white bread. Number three would be whole wheat. Four would be sweet. There are a total of nine bread settings and three fast bake settings. After pressing the type of bread on your menu, you would choose the crust color. When you press the crust color, you have a choice between light, medium, or dark. You see there's a rapid option also, and that can be chosen for basic French or whole wheat, and will make the bread about an hour faster. After you've chosen the crust color, you'll choose the loaf size. You have a choice between one pound, one and a half pounds, or two pounds. Some programs have fixed settings for crust color and loaf size. You can also use the delay timer that can be set for up to 13 hours. After you've set the menu for the type of bread, the crust color, and the loaf size, you would press the start button and that will start making the bread. I'll test out this bread maker by making the French countryside bread. That's the recipe from the manual. It's a two pound loaf. The blade is already inside the pan. First add the liquid ingredients. This is one and three eighths cup of water, room temperature. Should be between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. One and a half tablespoons of vegetable oil. You can use olive oil also. Now we'll add all the dry ingredients. One tablespoon sugar, and one and a half teaspoon salt. Then we'll add the four cups of bread flour. When you measure flour, just heap the flour onto the cup and just level it off with a butter knife or a spatula. This is already measured out as four cups. Now we'll add the two teaspoons of active dry yeast. This is how it comes in the packet. Make a well with your finger in the center of the flour and just put the yeast in the middle. The yeast should not touch the liquid ingredients. Now we'll put this into the machine. Put it straight down and push it down. Cover the unit, plug in the machine. You'll see the display say three hours and 25 minutes. We need to choose the French setting, which is two. 
So there we have chosen the French setting. You can see 335 is on the display. French bread takes three hours and 35 minutes. The machine is resting now after kneading for five minutes. There's 55 minutes left and the setting has changed to bake. So the unit has started baking the bread. The bread has been baking for about seven minutes and you can already smell it. There's 18 minutes left on the timer. You can see the bread is starting to get some color on top. There's about five minutes left. The outside of the unit does get warm. It's not burning hot, but it's very warm. Get a cooling rack ready, the blade removal tool, and an oven mitt. The pan will, of course, be very hot when you pull it out. Now the unit is off. Open the lid. The bread looks pretty good. It looks beautiful, nice and crusty. It's burning hot. Here's our beautiful bread. It's nice and golden brown even all around and the top is nice and crusty it also smells really good use a serrated knife it's soft smells really good